I'm reading the scripture of the day in my Bible app, and it's the King James Version. Even me, I consider myself a seasoned Christian, somebody who went to church eight days a week, 36 hours a day. I don't even understand it. I'm gonna help y'all understand it. Just a couple of words that we don't use today, I'm gonna tell you what it means. Repent means to stop doing the bad crap that Jesus don't like. And I probably don't like it either. And people around you, stop doing that. Means to do the complete opposite of that bad thing. To be baptized is more than just like taking a bath and washing something off. So we're washing off that thing that we don't want to do anymore, but even more so we're drowning it out like that noise or that negativity. Again, the stuff that God don't like and people around you don't like either. We're drowning that noise out. We drowning it out or we're, ki we're killing it in the name of Jesus. Why is this name so important? Because there are a lot of gods that people idolize and serve. So we specifically have to tell God that we're talking about his son, Jesus. We're doing this for the remission of sins. Two words, remission and sin. Sin is the bad crap that don't nobody like. It's like a fart. Nobody likes it. Remission means something is not actively destroying you. So that's what we want to do with this bad crap that irritates God and all of the people around us that don't like that part. We want to kill it. We want to drown it out. We want it to be in remission so that it is not actively destroying relationships and destroying us mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, jacking us up. And when we do all of that in the name of Jesus, in exchange, we get his gift of the Holy Ghost. Think of ghosts as something that's invisible that has power, like Wi-Fi, or a person that ghosted you. They're not around you, but they still have power and control over you. But this one is holy. It's God's Holy Spirit, the one that he left when he went back up to heaven. The version of Jesus that we're talking about that walked down on the earth 2,024 years ago. The version of God that we have today is that invisible spirit Wi-Fi version. And there you have it. Peter is telling all of us in this scripture to get rid of the noise, drown it out, and accept God's Holy Spirit in exchange inside of us so that we can live a good, peaceful life that's pleasing to him and everybody else around us.